Have you ever worked with Excel and found yourself saying, I think I could do a lot more if I knew just a little bit of Python? Well, this video was made exactly for that reason. In this video, we are showing a Python app that has four graphs. These four graphs are viewing and analyzing this supermarket sales Excel sheet. And you'll notice this Excel sheet has three different months, January, February, and March, that can all be analyzed in this app. And all of this is under 40 lines of code. And what's so powerful about this app written in Python is that you don't have to change anything in your code. If your Excel sheet is get, gets updated with another month, the month of April and May and June or another year or for many years to come, all you have to do in your uh, code is just change the sheet name. So here we see January. If we change this to March and save it, we'll see how this data or this app gets updated. So now you're seeing uh, four graphs that are analyzing the March sheet. Also, what's so powerful about this app is that you may want to see all the data together on one app. Instead of different months for different apps, you want to see all the data together. So to do that, all you have to do is hashtag this out, control question mark on Windows, hashtag this back in, save it, and now you'll see how the app updates to show you the full data frame with all the months together. Now, this can go even beyond that. And for example, you might say, I want to see all the data together, but comparing between the months on the same app. And that is very easy to do as well. All you have to do is cancel this, put this back in with facet column attributes, hashtag this back in like that, meaning you're including the, this property and you'll see the app update with all the data frame, the, the whole data set, breaking down the data by months, right? And for that, we just have to use the facet column property that belongs to each uh, plot the express graph. Here we use the color property. So that's the power behind this Python app. With very little change in code, you can Continue adding data to your Excel sheet for months into the future or years into the future, and you can uh, visualize this data and analyze it on this Python app. So let's see a little bit about uh, this code. What's happening? First, if you'd like to get started, all you have to do is install these libraries uh, to make the app work. So we'll take pip install dash, we go open your terminal inside your Python IDE, could be PyCharm or Atom or VS Code, and just do pip install dash. When that is done, you can erase, you can do pip install pandas. And then don't forget to pip install dash magnet components. Once you have everything installed, um, you can, let's go this back right here, you can see that our app, our code, is reading this Excel sheet, right, that we showed you. If you want to download this Excel sheet, all you have to do is copy this um, link and put it in your browser or just click control left click and you will be able to download this Excel sheet. Then you have these graph, these figures built with Poly Express, and these are just variables. You have the figures and they're saved as variables. But in order to display them on your browser, all you have to do is to use dash, instantiate dash and then put these figures inside the dash graph component right here. Fig 1, Fig 2, 3, and 4. This will display all your graphs on the page. And what's more than that, you can fully customize and control the layout of your app. For that, you can use a DMC grid. Dash man time component um, right here, the grid component. And so, for example, 
we want two graphs on each row, two on the top row, two on the bottom row. Imagine that every row has a maximum of 12 columns. So we'll put at the top two graphs, we'll put in the, in the first row, and the uh, last two graphs we'll put in the second row. Six and six equals 12. If you want to see everything on one row, just make sure everything adds up to 12 or less, and this will update to one row. To learn more about how to create a similar app or more sophisticated interactions inside the app, we highly recommend you go to this page inside our Dash Docs called Dash in 20 Minutes Tutorial and try and go through this tutorial. I'll put this link under the video in the description part. Also, you might have questions along the way as we're learning Dash. For that, we have a very active uh, community uh, forum. So just go to community.plotly.com. Also, we'll put this under the video and open your account if you wish to uh, get answers to any questions that you might have. Good luck. Hope you enjoy your Dash learning journey and I hope to see you around.